The door to Dr. Jan Seski's office is locked, but that happened just moments ago after I came outside. Inside, I found a receptionist working who confirmed that Dr. Seski has closed his practice for good. I spoke with one of his patients who tells me she was given just a few days notice, and this has caused her a lot of struggles. I'm with this doctor 24 years. For Sophia Ficaros, losing her doctor was difficult. How she found out, she says, was far worse. I got the phone call last week. Dr. Seske has closed his practice. Oh, so can I get in a little earlier? No, he's closed his practice. You have to find a doctor. The news came nine months after Dr. Jan Seske was named in an investigation by officials in Zimbabwe after hunting and killing a lion there. Seski was never charged with a crime and has maintained his hunt was legal. For Fakaros, his care here in Pittsburgh was essential. I had cervical cancer. I was only 38 years old at the time. Fakaro says she needs constant checkups with the oncologist gynecologist and a regular prescription. It's sustaining medicine that I take monthly. But Fakaro says since Seski gave her little notice, it took her four days to have another doctor fill her essential medicine. She says she got the call about the closing April 26th. Then this letter sent Federal Express on May 4th, dated April 30th, saying the office was closing that same day. Fakaros feels as if she and the other patients were abandoned. According to the state, abandonment occurs when a physician withdraws his services, failing to give notice in sufficient time to allow the patient to obtain necessary medical care. While the receptionist in Dr. Seski's office confirms he's closed his practice for good, she will not say when he decided to close his practice or why. In Oakland, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.